Every night, a snowy day like today, 400 kids are looking for a place to stay. Handgun violence um, has been a plague in our community for a long time. Consistently being in the top 10 as it relates to teen pregnancy statistics. We had a 76% increase in shaken babies um, at Children's Hospital. People just, you know, fail to realize what someone who is visually impaired can actually accomplish. The messages uh, kind of just kind of, um, you know, went into that white noise, so to speak, of, of uh, getting tested for uh, breast cancer. Social consequences, economic consequences, even criminal outcomes can be linked to teen parenthood. Alcohol and drug um, prevention and academic success and just helping the girls find their inner core to be successful. We're here to take on the tough issues, the issues that other ad agencies frankly don't want to talk about um, and that the media doesn't want to talk about and that people often don't want to hear about. They want to stick their head in the sand. Uh, they want to pretend it's not there. We're here to lift these issues and put them into the social consciousness. We're here to make people uncomfortable with their inaction. If it doesn't grab you by the neck and make you uncomfortable, it's not worth doing. If you don't do something that catches their attention, they'll miss the message. And yes. I think they do a great job of catching the attention. They know how to do that. Serve does a wonderful job of, of finding different ways, different angles to present uh, a message that gets through to people. And whether they take the side door or the back door approach, it usually is a, uh, a message that, like I said, cuts through that clutter. Gary's um, tactics are controversial only to people who aren't comfortable with, with the idea that we have to get people's attention in order to change social problems. I think what CERV has done is to cut to the core human existence. They find out what people care about and what makes human beings draw to a, a, a issue and they put it together in such a professional way. We kind of operate from a standpoint of that it doesn't matter how busy we are, how much work is going on, we uh, we're going to put in the effort that's required to do the job right for these nonprofits. We make no excuses. Um, and sometimes it requires people working late at night and on weekends and a lot of time, but our volunteers are so dedicated. You know, you can work with a lot of agencies who maybe have the, the technical skill to, to design a campaign for you, but the professionals that serve are, are people who are deeply committed to the causes that they're working for, and that shows in the work that they do. And it's nice to know that you have that, that resource, that you would not normally have. And that they're going to be there for a while rather than just now and then they're gone. I just think the relaxed nature of working with the various volunteers that make serve possible is so refreshing and just you know being encouraged to think out of the box and to not be confined by what is quote unquote typical or mainstream. They live here and they care deeply, not just about gun violence. You can tell in all the work that they're doing that they're aimed at, at making a difference on the issues that, that uh, confront this community. We don't uh, have the expertise, the knowledge, and the resources to even wrap our arms around the marketing that's needed to really uh, raise your awareness within the community. That's why we're here, um, and I think that when when people volunteer for SERVE, they get a sense for their, their contribution, the kind of impact it actually has on the community. They may start out thinking, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be a part of something kind of fun and do some great ads, and, and, uh, um, and it's just kind of a fun thing to do. But once they get involved and they actually see the impact they have, you know, the impact a, a, a campaign has on stopping you know, uh, babies from being shaken, or it gets more homeless teens off the street, or it stops, um, you know, it helps prevent gun violence. I think when they actually see the impact it has, it changes their whole life. And they become more than just ad people helping to create some, some you know, some nice PSAs or, or, or billboards. And it becomes kind of a mission for them. I really think and have a feeling that they believe in the work we do. Um, that was impressive to me. Not only did they come in and do a job, but it seemed like it was a little bit deeper than that. The production they did w was phenomenal. I mean, it was really, um, I actually saw the production itself, and, and you could tell that these were people that were doing a labor of love. You were bringing um, first-rate Hollywood quality production levels 
um, to address this issue, and nobody was talking cost. They, they were just saying, let's, let's just put together a good piece. I think that the work that SERVE and the volunteers have done has jump-started us in such a tremendous way in terms of getting the hearts and minds of this community wrapped around the need to reduce teen pregnancy and take that as a priority. When we had an opportunity to find out about SERVE, it was just a dream come true. And we said, wow, there are really people out there who can provide services at no charge or reduce charge to agencies like ours. At every step of the way, uh, Gary and Heather and the SERVE team have been inclusive of our viewpoints, um, have been, despite the fact that we're not a, a significantly a high paying client, they treat us as though we're an important client and that's been invaluable. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to do some of the social marketing and ad placements and photography and um, video production that most nonprofits could never ever dream of putting together. It's it's such a gift for what SURF can do to some of these nonprofits, and I don't see anyone else doing that. The, the, the crazy thing is we do this with all volunteers. Um, uh, even uh, even our couple paid staff are, are, are volunteers. They're they're loan executives from BBK, um, but we rely on hundreds of volunteers in the community who donate thousands upon thousands of hours. The things that you do, we could never repay you even a fraction. Uh, the the work that you submit, the many hours, thousands of hours millions of dollars, it goes so far because if it saves a life, if it changes a child's life, it's so invaluable. So I want to say thank you. You've changed lives. You've made a huge difference for kids who need it the most in our community. Thanks. This has uh, been a unique relationship that's allowed us to touch parts of the community that had not been involved in this critical and important work of, of making sure that uh, Milwaukee has a safe and prosperous future. So thank you, keep up what you're doing. Uh, it's a privilege to work with you. Thank you to Serve Marketing, to all of the wonderful staff and volunteers who have helped our organization over the past few years. We thank you. I would like to say thank you to Serve for understanding our community and understanding our youth and being there for nonprofits. Very appreciated. Thank you to SERVE and all of its volunteers, uh, past, present, and hopefully future, uh, for the incredible work that you do and the creativity and the commitment that you have. And if I could, I'd also like to offer that thanks on behalf of the children of Wisconsin because that's who you're truly making an impact on. I show them, like, like you got to come take a look at this, and they're, like, floored. They're wowed. And sometimes it's just, like, I get all choked up because I'm so extremely proud of it. And so I thank you so much.